Hi, my name is Monica Rosnier. I'm a third year PhD student, which makes this my 20th year as a student and as a scientist, which is a very long time. And sometimes I wonder, how did I get here? Why did I choose to be a scientist? And when I look back, I think it all started in my dad's lab. He's a chemist. And when I was very young, around your age, I would come and visit and he would ask me to do these silly experiments. Never telling me what they were, but they were definitely pranks. And one of the last ones he asked me to do was take this beaker of clear liquid and pour it into another beaker. I asked him, what, what is that liquid? He said it was toxic. I'm thinking, oh gosh, do I have to put gloves on? Do I need to put goggles on? Do I have to do some protocols? He said, we don't have time. We just have to do it very carefully. Just don't spill. Because if you spill, bad things will happen. And I panicked. And I took this beaker and I started shaking and I poured it and of course I poured it on my hand. I looked at him and I said, what do I do? How do I wash this off? What's going to happen? And he said, it's too late. I'm going to die. <laughs> and there's nothing he can do for me. I was crying so hard, begging him to help me. I don't know what to do. He's laughing his head off and I'm getting very frustrated. Finally, after five minutes of me crying, he tells me, no worries, that was water in the beaker. I was so mad, I'm still pretty mad. But looking at that, one, I'm a horrible chemist, don't take me. And two, I realized what I like being about scientists is going through these situations where I don't know what's happening, what to do, and I have to think very quickly, what are my next steps? How to I take this problem and find a solution? And not this extreme, but I, it really kind of helped me become what I am now, a roboticist. And I work mostly in underwater, which is very challenging. You can't control the environment. You can't control what's going to happen to the robot. And you have to accept that. You have to accept the unknown. You have to accept that there are things that you can't control, but instead you have to think outside the box. Make your own rules. Break the other rules. And in a way, I have to design these robots to be free thinkers. How can they see color underwater? How can they explore in a shipwreck? How do they look at reefs? How do they explore under ice environments? And so much more. In this way, I actually named my robot Sneaky because you have to be mischievous and a rule breaker. That's what makes a good scientist.